there is an argument that says much of much of the systems and cybernetics canon is codified common sense. Yes. You know that we talk about heuristics, we talk about rules of thumb, uh, we talk about feedback, we talk about inherent regulation or intrinsic res regulation rather than top down. But a lot of these words have have become. Uh, Unpopular. Yeah, I, got, I think as well there's an inherent problem with common sense mm -hmm. in that it's not all that common. Well, I think that... When we come back to the language. Yeah, that, that's a problem. But, yeah. but if you can get people thinking <coughs> control in terms of... With a lowercase c instead of in big capital letters. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, that, that's part of it. But, but thinking of control in terms of skiing down a hill. Mm -hmm. Control is so you don't wipe out, essentially. Mm -hmm. Um, but it, it's taken now to, to represent primarily top-down folks imposing stuff that doesn't even fit half the time on people that are in lower positions, rather than the people who are in the lower positions having control over their own lives. Mm -hmm. um, and you, know, you, you kind of look at that, that essence of control and you say, okay, where, where's the locus of control here? And if you are looking at families, to, to go back to the downloading, as they're supposed to somehow privately, with very few resources, cope with structural issue reverberations that are three or four levels of recursion above them, uh, many won't succeed. Mm -hmm. So you're talking about mar marginalization of communication now. Or how communication marginalizes. I think the communication makes people atomize themselves so that they don't think in terms, they think that there's something wrong with them because somehow other people somewhere are making, uh, making things work. But if you look at some of the, some of the research about television situation comedies, uh, and the, the income that would be required to, to have that lifestyle. You know, it's about four or five times that of the, midi, the median income, and yet people are encouraged if they watch a lot of television to think of, oh, that's how most people live. That's I think as well, the, uh, another one of the challenges with this, the, again, comes out of McLuhan's stuff, is the fact that it, it doesn't, the, the narrative that we're creating and the narrative the way McLuhan saw it with the increase in technology, is not just that we're marginalizing people, but we're marginalizing them in such a way that they think they're being centralized. So there's, there's, there's a complete inability to recognize the marginalization, the, the, the fact that you're being moved from power. So that when you, when you look at things in, in Facebook side, where you get rapid, very quick engagements with events and no time to internalize them to, and to think it through, you don't build a coherent picture. What's happening is your worldview is being fragmented. So you feel in control of each one for a moment of time, but you don't actually engage with it, so you're not in control. Of it. And, but you feel as if you're in the middle of things because you're on. Yeah. I'm on. It's cool. I don't know if you say that would be dumbing down. Yeah, well, you know, back to plain English. Yeah. Dumbing down is good. Uh, but you see what I mean? There's a real danger in the way the technology is used in that way as an alienative force without people knowing they're being alienated, which is, by definition, the finest way to do it. Yeah. Yeah, well, uh, I've heard uh, someone say that the, um, that the nightly news is one of the most elitist forms of communication there is because you have to have an awful lot of background information and context to be, be able to interpret what it's saying. Mm -hmm. And... We did a um, we did a, a series of sessions in the University of Toronto in the McLuhan Center, by the way, mm -hmm. and that was something that a lot of the McLuhan folks, you know, kind of looked in on. And he he was very highly thought of there. Mm -hmm. Although I would have to say perhaps more so after his death than before it. Yes, there were probably a few of us would be better thought of after they're dead. Um, you know, it. it I, I think it's challenging work there. I think it, it, it's consistent, it, historically consistent, 
with 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 sorts of Stafford and Gordon and, and, and the like that these things are developing 